What's going on, guys? It's Match Day Meltdowns here, and Football Twenty Twenty Football Manager Twenty Twenty Four is out. Let's fucking go! I'm here to play, do a playthrough for you. We are starting out at the Spartans FC, which you're about to see, but we just got to do some uh, player coaching things to begin with. If we have a look here, I'm just going to change my attributes. They look pretty fine overall. We're going to start with what we usually start with. And I'm just going to upgrade the uh, motivating because that's really important in the early game. So let's get into it. As you can see, we are managing the Spartans. Match Day Meltdown is managing the Spartans. And this is going to be a really hard save this year. We're starting at the bottom of the Scottish Premier League. We're the second worst team. We've just been promoted. Um... They've won a lot in the lower leagues, but they've never actually made it this high up, I'm pretty sure, so it'll be interesting. They've got a cool name, a cool badge, which I'm really excited about. Um, their players, which we're about to go to here, they've, we've actually got two key players. Um, we don't The team's shit, as you would think, but this guy here is, is our best player, number 28, and then number 18, Wangi, is our... He's 17 and he's on loan from Dundee, who is our affiliate club. Okay, and if you wanted some extra history on the Spartans, they've actually finished first in the, the league below um, twice and then didn't get promoted because you actually have to win the playoff against the bottom of um, League 2, which I'm tipping they did last season because they got promoted now. Um, I will now go and I'll go and get a tactic ready for you guys, and then show you and show you the season preview as well. Um, and then we'll get stuck into it um, in our first game, which will be against Clyde. And as you can see here, this is the season preview. We are twenty-one dollar odds to win. Now we're not as bad as Elgin City, but this is our predicted lineup here. Um, as I said before, um, Cragen is our best player. He's a 32-year-old um, from England, and his stats are... I mean, they, they'll probably be really good for this league, but they're nothing to be really excited about. And then uh, else on here is um, Wangi, who is also pretty good. He's very fast for this league. 14 acceleration and 13 crossing will be pretty good out in the wings. So, next we'll move on to our tactic, which I will get ready for you now. Okay, so this is the tactic I've gone with. It's a 4-3-3 with the DM, um, the inverted wingers on attack, and then you've got the wingbacks on attack as well. But I've also put them on overlap, so hopefully we can get them up the pitch and then create an overload. And then we've got the target forward as well. Um, this won't be the team that I start the season with. I'm going to go do some transfers and that for you now, and I'll meet up back with you at the uh, start of the first game, which will be against Clyde after, um, there's a quick little cup thing, but we come against the premiership teams and the championship teams, so I don't expect anything there, so I'll probably just skip through that and I'll meet up back with you um, for the first game of the season with a different team, which is hopefully a lot better than this. Okay, so these are the transfers we've made. Heriti was already here and same with Moangi. Um, We've, but we've got in this Adam bloke on loan, and he is decent. He's he's okay. He's probably not going to play for us that much. He'd be a nice backup option, but he's pretty good. Um, but the real man is Craig Moore. We've got him in, and he is he's been killing it so far in the practice games and the the, uh, the league games that we played. Look at him. He's for this level, that's pretty good. And we've got him for basically we're going for free, zero pounds a week. Um, and then another player who's been really good for us is Craig uh, Thompson. He, we play him at, at, as a wing back on attack, and he's been really getting up and down the pitch, getting lots of assists. As you can see, he's got five, um, which hopefully doesn't spoil the next bit. But um, we also got this winger, Daniel Foster, who's just like he's he's terrible at having the ball, but he's super fast. So he's he's really good out there on the right and the left. Um, the rest of these guys, like we've got a backup striker here, Jack Stainrod, who's been good in the practice games, hasn't really played for us in the cups yet. Um, John Craig, we got him on loan as well. He'll be a nice backup for our left back. Um, Callum Murray, who names their kid that by the way, um, be a nice centre mid, probably a bit of depth as well. 
And then we've just got McFarlane, who is a decent uh, right winger, probably a backup for Fosu as well. So now we'll go and show you how we've been, and I'm not even kidding. I couldn't believe it. I actually couldn't believe it, the games that we've been winning. It's ridiculous. We go here. The first, we won, the, we won a lot of the friendlies, but the first game was against Hamilton, who, as you can see, are in League One. So they're, they're the league above us, and they are predicted to finish um, second in it. So they're, they're, they're basically a championship side. And we absolutely took them to town 4 1. Um, I'm just going to show you the goals now. All right, so we started off. Thompson, our right back, has been killing it. And it's just quick little corner play in there. The second one, ridiculous as well. Corner, bang. So we went up 3 0. And, like, Sonker, who's the bloke with the 17 heading, I couldn't believe that. We actually got we actually went up four 0 I couldn't believe this. It was just it was ridiculous. A little deflection there, and then we conceded one late one, but that's all right. The game was already over, so I at this point I was like I can't believe we've actually just taken a League One team to town. Um, but yeah, we had a two point four xg to their one. Um, and if we move on to the next one, it was against Kil uh, Kilmarnock which are the best team in our... They were the best team in our group, easy. We definitely didn't deserve to win, as you can see, um, without one goal to their two XG. But this is the goal. It was a pen. Um, so this was the build-up play for the pen. And Craig Thompson out on the right back, he's just been killing it, really. Like, look at this run. And then Days takes down Russell. So there's the pen, and he converts it. Um... And yeah, we win that game pretty easily. Well, not pretty easily, but we win the game in the end. After we probably shouldn't have with 38% possession, but I just parked the bus after that. And then we played the Edonians, um, Ed, sorry, Edrionians. And this one, there's actually no extra time. So they scored a late one to even it up. And then it went straight to pens, which was a bit weird, but... You actually get a point for a pen loss, so I wasn't too upset with that. Sonker scores this one at the start of the game, 30 minutes in. And then at the end of the game, they get this late goal from McGregor who goes on a nice run, which I really wasn't happy about, but what can you do? Then it was on to our league, uh, the cup against Clyde, who we're about to play next, and we took him to town again. I don't, the team is just, it's, it's out of this world at the moment. I don't understand. I thought we were just going to get pants in this league, so I didn't really show you, but look at these goals. Like, Thompson, bang, 1-0. We end up winning 3-1, and they get a really quick one back from a pen, which is whatever. I, I didn't really understand the pen. Uh, but then, like, throughout this game, we just had so much of the ball. Like, they couldn't really do anything, and all of our attacks were really good like this. Craig Thompson, five assists in five games and a goal, so unreal. And there you go. There, there's another assist. Bang. That was a. That's actually one of the better goals I've ever seen. And then we had another late one that was disallowed. But like, as you can see, Craig Thompson nine point four here. Ridiculous. Okay, so this is the team we're going with. We got Henderson starting up the striker uh, position. He's scored five goals in in the games we've played. Most of them have been in the cup, which has been pretty good. He scored two in the last one. I'm pretty sure. Um. Then we've got Russell out on the right wing, who is he's decent for this level. Like, the 11 acceleration and that, pretty good. Um, Wangy, we already spoke about him on the left. He'll be good. He's actually been pretty decent so far with the two goals. Um, this is an area we could improve upon, Reese Armstrong, but he, he does a job. He does a job. He'll be there starting box to box. And then we've got Kagan, our best player, starting as the centre mid on support. And then the, our other best player, more. Um, we'll be starting as a DM um, on support, I'm pretty sure, defend. So look for him. He'll be good to anchor us back there. And then Swan out on the left, fast, can get up and down. He'll be all right. Thompson, I spoke about him as well, absolute jet. Um, hopefully he can get another assist for us. And then the centre-back partnership of Allen, who is 
pretty average, and then Sonker, who's pretty decent actually. 17 jumping and 12 heading at 191 centimeters is crazy. And then our goalkeeper, Herity, who is on loan. Okay, so we're ready to go. Hopefully we can uh, dominate Clyde like we did in the last game. Playing them two times in a row is pretty cool. Thompson for a corner. Wang is there. Sonka. Bang! Let's fucking go! This guy, 17 heading. It's ridiculous. Eight minutes in. Couldn't be happier with that start to the league season. Sonka. Look at this. Thompson. Bang. Big. Wang gets in there. And then Sonka. He's just there. Bang. What a header. You can't do much about that. Let's go. Thompson goes for a run, as he always does. This bloke, they can't get the ball off him. And then we got Blair Henderson. Plays it out wide to Mwangi. Look at the stadium. It's actually pretty busy. Like, for a shitty League 2 game, there's actually 600 people here. So, 700 people. So, not too shabby. We've got Allen playing it into Moore now. Back to Armstrong. Back out wide to Moore. No, nothing there. Like, we've had so much of the ball. Every heart. Craigan! What a goal! What a goal. Jeez, 2 0 up. Start of the season. Clyde is supposed to be not bad as well. Like, mid table. Um, oh, I didn't show you guys, but after our transfers, we actually moved up from being pretty to finish uh, sec second bottom to being finishing fourth. So, that's. Um, I was not too fussed about that. Okay, they've got a corner here. This is our home game. Oh, you fuck! What is that, Herity? I was just going to talk about how we've got a hotel in the corner, but look at this. Plays it in. Herity can get there and just doesn't. What? What is your problem, mate? Lots of Craigs in this team as well. Craig Thompson, Craig and... Pretty sure Craig Moore as well. So, lots of Craigs. Which is weird, but I guess that's what we have. So a long build-up play here. Swan plays it into Henderson. Bang! All of our goals are bangers. Like, besides the first one, two outside-the-box ridiculous goals. That's that's actually crazy. Good build-up play as well. Like, just keeping possession of it. Swan plays it across. Henderson by himself. Bang! What a goal. Okay, that is half time, and as you can see, we are dominating. 13 shots to three. Not too shabby at all, so I'll be, I'll be telling the boys that they're doing really good. Very happy with the number of shots. Um, let's get into the second half. Okay, they've got a corner here. Hopefully we can defend well, because we've conceded the first goal from a corner. Stevenson, bang. Oh my god. That's hit the bar. Herity is... That's a bit sus from him so far this game, but... We'll keep moving on. They've got another highlight here. Please, no. Yes, Thompson. He might be my favourite player, actually, Thompson, so far. He's doing a lot. Oh, Cragen. Beautiful ball to Henderson. Got to score this. Let's go. Let's go. 4 1. Let's fucking go, boys. Look at this ball. Let's let's see the replay. Look at this ball from Cragen. That is outstanding. Yeah, but he's our best player. Look at that. Bang. What a through ball. And Henderson, he's just clinical. There's nothing the keeper can do about that. That's just good team movement. Here we go. We've got a corner. Thompson to kick it in. Let's look for Song Kerr here. Nope. Another one. Oh. I can't. I, I'm speechless. I'm actually speechless. How have we scored five goals? Look at this. And most of them have been, like, long shots. Like, I don't understand. Our team... I'm going to have to go and check all of our long shots. But, like, what is this? I guess that one's not too bad, but... Like, the other teams, they're just... Our corner tactic... I haven't I haven't actually put a proper corner tactic in either. So, this is... Uh, it's making me think that maybe I should because we'll score every time. Good build-up play here. Armstrong with the ball. Plays it into Henderson. Another goal. Oh. And that is going to do it. 5-1. What a game. Blair Henderson with a goal, with two goals. Lots of assist players here. Like Sonker and Allen. 
both scoring goals. Both of our centre backs getting on the the scoring sheet is ridiculous. Craig in our best player. I believe to, uh, Henderson was obviously the player of the match today, but Craig in he just does a bit of everything. Um, but we definitely deserve that with the four three point three and a half xg to the point two five. Um, very nice from the boys. Very nice first game of the season. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so I've just offered a contract to Adam King, which will eat up the rest of our wage budget, but I think it's worth it. This guy is pretty good. He can work up and down the pitch, so he'll be a good box-to-box. He's got 12 stamina, 12 work rate, which will be great, and he can finish as well. So if I put him as a box-to-box here, look, he, he looks very decent, and our squad comparison has him above Craig Moore. I know the, the stars don't really matter, but he... He's played for Dundee, he's played for Rays, and the lower who are in League One. So he's he's a league above us, but I'm going to offer him a deal. He, he's actually, he offered, he signed it straight away. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and accept this. Okay, so our next game is against Dumbarton, who, if we head to the league, they're predicted to finish above us in the season preview. Well, actually, no. After signing King, we've moved up to second and they're third. So they're actually... Should be a decent team there, about equal with us. But as you can see, we've got the best midfield in the league now. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, this is the team that we're going with. We've made, only made a few changes. Um, we've brought in King as the box to box, and then another Craig to come in who will play as the wing back, who should be pretty good. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is the league table. We're actually on top at the moment, and Dumbarton lost 2 0 to Bonnie Rig. So let's go out there and give him another L. I also forgot to mention that I actually put Denholm in on the right wing as well and took off Russell. So here he is here. Okay, first play of the game, Craig for a corner. Flips it in. Nothing. Okay, it's half time and there has not been any highlights, which is a bit strange considering we've had three shots on target to their one, but... No highlights so far, but we're dominating possession, so let's go into the second half. Okay, our first proper highlight, hopefully. Nothing happens here. I will be pretty upset because we haven't had anything happen the whole game. But you can see a car park there on the other side of the ground, and there's also a hotel in that other corner, so... Um, not really sure how many fans get to the ground. I'll have to go on a Google Maps and have a look at that after, but... It's a bit strange as Hilton brings it up on the right wing. Whips it in, please no. Herity with the save, thank God. We get it out. Right, let's go. Denholm gets it, the interception. Hopefully it plays out wide to Mwangi. Nope, gets taken. Cragen to King. To Mwangi. Let's go. We're in. Find someone. King. Oh, terrible shot. What is that? But after this game, I'll probably... Skip ahead through the season till we have another tight game, but we play every team four times, so I'll probably just try and find like the most important games that we could have, and then meet back with you guys maybe halfway through the season, and then the episode after that I'll probably be the end of the season and some transfers that we've done. Um, we're just keeping the ball right now, Craigan. He's going to play it to Craig Thompson, who's going to take it up the right wing as he always does. Whips it in, Wangy can't win the header. But Craig, another Craig, plays it into Moore to Craigan. A long shot. Oh my god! James Craigan, he's unreal. We have to have a look at his long shots. Like, what, what is his long shot attribute? Long shots. 12 long shots. No wonder they're going in all the time. Holy moly. Let's have a look at this replay. Craigan from way outside the box. Craig gets the ball, plays it to King, or to Moore, to Craig, and bang! The keeper's done terrible there. <laughs> what is that? But Craig, in from way downtown. I've noticed that our team holds possession really well. Mangy, over the top. Here we go. What is the keeper doing? This keeper, he, they need to sack him. He is terrible. Mangy with the goal. We're up 2-0. This looks like it is a very good team so far, and I'm very happy with it. Great play here from Moore. Two assists now. Great over the top. I'm not sure where the keeper is going. He's got horrible positioning, and that is an easy goal. Okay, we've got a corner. Thompson's going to take it. Another Craig Thompson. 
Whips it in. Henderson. Bang! Oh, Song Kerr. 17 heading. That's what I'm telling you. You need centre backs who can like get up there and head it. The the out swinger from the corner is just too OP at the front post. Looks like it's Henderson, but it's actually Song Kerr. Bang, goal. 3 0 up. We haven't conceded we've conceded one goal this whole season. Let's keep it clean sheet here, that'll be nice. Another highlight for us actually. Can we make it four? We got Craig on the left back. Keeps the ball, plays it to Moore. Can he find someone? Craig in. Don't have another shot. Thompson runs inside, has a whack, and it's no good. We actually might not, though, because Denholm has it on the right wing. Plays it back into Craigan. He plays it to King. To Moore. Hopefully, he can find a three ball here. Thompson to Craigan. He's had another pink from outside, and it's gone in. Craigan is unbelievable. Their keeper, to be fair, is like. He is might be brain dead, but Craigan, he just can't stop missing. Like these long shots are ridiculous. Thompson plays it into Craigan. Thompson with another assist. Craigan with another goal. Long should be doing better there. That's terrible. But 4-0 in the 91st. Very, very, very happy with that. That's the end of the game, guys. 4-0 after being 0-0 at half time. That's actually unbelievable. We actually didn't dominate them as much as I would have thought. With a 1.7 XG to their 1.1, but we dominated possession, we dominated the corners, um, we had way more shots than them, and as you can see from our heat map here, it's unbelievable, but Craigan, he is cracked, two goals, can't believe it. Okay guys, that's going to be the end of the episode today, we've, we've had two wins, conceded one goal with an eight goal difference, Craigan has been unbelievable, he, he is just... He's in another world, honestly. Um, I'll probably meet up with you guys around the middle of the season. Um, these cups, I'm not too worried about. We're going to get spanked in the League Cup second round. But um, might meet up with you around January, the January transfer window maybe. Um, but we'll see. But um, like the club, they're looking really good. I, I think we might even get promoted. Who knows? Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.